Hello, I'm Tyler, one of the designers here at Build Better Bricks, or as we like to call it, B3. Now, this video is all going to be about uh, just kind of the behind the scenes process of what it's like designing some of the models that we do, and we like to do this a little more often just to give you an inside peek at some of the models that we're working on, so you can just see our build process, some of the mistakes that we make, or some of the goofy looking prototype versions before we get to the final product, and just kind of follow along with us on that process. Now I'm really excited to show you the project that I am working on. It's from a very popular video game, and it's also a very popular video game that LEGO has acquired the license for. I'm sure you probably already know what I'm talking about, and it's LEGO Overwatch. Now I'm really excited about this model because it is a character that I really like to play. She's really fun to play, and she looks really awesome, especially in her blue flying suit of armor. That's right, everybody, it's Farah. Now, I don't have a lot to show you yet, but uh, what I can show you, and what I've started with, is her head. Here you can see her head with that uh, gold armor plating there, or that go gold visor, as well as some of the gold uh, pieces on the sides there. Now, I've, I've chosen to do her uh, her flesh color there in that medium dark flesh color uh, to kind of simulate that uh, Egyptian skin tone that she has, which I think looks quite appropriate there. Now I wish that we could do um, her in kind of a medium azure color uh, rather than just plain blue, but unfortunately the pieces are not uh, readily available in, in the appropriate uh, shapes that we would need in order to accurately create the model. So we're going with a standard blue here. Now you'll see we've got uh, sort of this hinge piece here. I really wish that that hinge brick that's inside there, I wish this guy came in a, uh, a pearl gold color, but yellow is the closest thing I can get in order to just angle that piece down there just a little bit in the front. Now we want uh, all of our models to be pretty poseable, so I'm gonna try and attach it using some of these uh, mixel joints, these little ball joints here. So hopefully we will see this head on far pretty soon. Now as you can see, this model's going to be pretty big, probably about yay big. Um, it's probably gonna be about uh, somewhere in the same scale range as the Iron Giant model that we created. Now another thing that I've been working on, which is, this is definitely a prototype, is the um, one of the jet wings for Farah. She's got two of these wings on her back, um, and they are kind of her main propulsion system slash aerodynamic, you know, uh, maneuverability system. I've got kind of some brick-built uh, uh, jets here. Those may or may not stay on the model, I'm not certain. Now one of the things that I really want to try and capture with the model is how her wings uh, kind of move around and she's able to go into her ultimate mode. So one of the things I would like to be able to do is have these wings split and then open up into that, that sort of uh, insect wing look as she uses her ultimate. Now, uh, another thing that I'd like to change is some piece usage here. Uh, right now I've got a ball joint on here and it makes the wing flop a little bit and also this piece is pretty uh, pretty uncommon and, uncommon and hard to get a hold of. So this is something that may change. And also sort of the, uh, the assembly here on the bottom's got a lot of weird stud reversal stuff which uh, certainly looks pretty cool here, but it's pretty complex and pretty flimsy. Uh, so I will probably attempt to redesign this bottom section here. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at some of the behind the scenes of designing this Farah character. Um, I'm really excited to see how she turns out, seeing that she's one of my favorite characters in the game. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.